Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2018. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We start with a full moon. We end with a full moon. And we've got a beautiful new moon in the middle. I think you are going to love it all. So let's start with that full moon right out of the gate. Now this full moon is standing across the sky from Neptune and also speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. I love that connection with Saturn. It tells me that there's a lot of stability and maturity around that time and maturity in the best possible sense. It's like outcomes that really benefit us for a very long time to come are possible. Now this is happening for you in a part of the sky that has to do with money that you earn and money that you spend. It's that connection with Neptune that, you know, piques my interest a little, I must say. You are going to have to watch a little bit about, you know, uh, doing something, I don't know what the name for it is, but you know, I remember, and this is an example I share sometimes from Ayan La Van Zant. she talks about how uh, people often think that they have to have in order to do, in order to be, but the truth is you have to be in order to do, in order to have. So it is a fine distinction there, but essentially what it means is that you alone are enough. And if you are meant to do something, then you don't need to necessarily acquire certain things. You can start doing it right where you are, as you are, and know that everything you need will come as you are doing what it is that you feel inspired to do. So this is an important distinction for you now, because as you're starting the month, it looks like for some of you out there, there may be a sense that you have to spend a lot of money to do what you really want to do, or you got to spend money to make money. Well, look, yes, that is the case sometimes, but more often you alone are enough and you would be surprised at how much you can do right where you are to create more prosperity for yourself. So I just want you to be a little bit mindful of that because you may get caught in that thinking a little bit. Uh, the other part of this energy has to do with understanding your self-esteem and your self-worth. So it goes a little bit deeper onto a more spiritual plane, a more emotional plane. And this can be a time where you're understanding how to actually stabilize and have a long-term view in terms of the value that you place on yourself. And in this way, this can be really nice. It's about understanding not to get caught up in the superficial, not to think that you need to be something else or you need to amp up glamour in order to be exactly who you are, entirely worthy of whatever it is that you desire in your life. As we move towards the middle of the month, we've got a new moon taking place. I love this new moon. And the reason I love it is because how it is speaking with Jupiter in supreme harmony, how it is speaking in harmony with Pluto as well. So there's a lot of power, a lot of optimism, a lot of blessing with this, but it is also happening hand in hand with Chiron. Now Chiron is an asteroid, one of the most widely used asteroids, if you will. And it represents our healing and it represents where it is that we get opportunities sometimes to really put the wounds of the past behind us and leap ourselves into our future and it has to do with vulnerability as well so here's the thing this is happening in another part of the sky that also has a financial element to it one way this energy can manifest has to do with our relationships with financial institutions and so that may be highlighted at this new moon and it's almost as if i'm seeing you asking for something whether you're asking for care asking for resources um, asking to know somebody more deeply to be more vulnerable uh, in some way it is touching a very deep part of yourself whether it's financial or emotional because the universe has many ways of helping us to understand abundance and helping us to recognize how abundant our life is but in some way you are having to ask you're having to make a statement that you desire a type of abundance, emotional, spiritual, or monetary abundance. How does that feel to you? And how is it that you can heal that and move beyond that and come to redefine prosperity in the most empowering terms? Well, that's gonna be part of your learning. And so as part of that, for some of you, you may be interacting with financial institutions in the middle of the month. For others of you out there, it may be a lot more personal where you're trying to find the words and trying to find ways to be more vulnerable to another person. I'll come back to that a little bit later as well when I talk about love. Now, this part of the sky can be positively transforming because it also has to do with getting honest with yourself 
and in that honesty being changed it is regenerative if you will and this can be a tremendous time of healing physical emotional wounds can feel like you have transcended them with the right perspective and so cultivating optimism at this time can really go a very long way in helping your journey now as we move towards the end of the month as we end the month we've got a full moon taking place now this full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with siblings cousins neighbors it also has to do with communications random communication synchronistic moments which is all really nice right but the thing is this is a very interesting full moon i gotta say my eye is on this full moon although i always love gazing at the entire sky of course and you've got to take these things in perspective but here's the thing this full moon is standing across the sky from a retrograde mercury it is speaking with mars and saturn as well and what this is doing is setting up what astrologers call a t-square it is a conversation of tension and this uh, energy to me it's almost like wanting to do something wanting to push forward or having a reaction but then at the same time knowing that you've got to hold back you've got to be a little bit restrained so I want you to be a little mindful of this because it is right at the end of the month and even the first couple days into next month as well that you're going to be mindful of this because it is siblings, cousins, neighbors, these people most likely to push buttons, I must say, right? Um, and it can happen. Some of us, our families can be much easier, much smoother than other families necessarily may be. Some families, they awaken where it is that we have healing to do or we have work to do and some people it can just push our buttons sometimes and it doesn't feel good well that's the kind of stuff that can happen with this so be mindful of that be mindful of your own reactions as well as you're communicating with people especially on things like social media text messages uh, mercury will be retrograde at this time so misunderstandings become that much more likely and it just suggests that uh, there may be some, you know, strong interactions and getting sort of caught up in an emotion that maybe isn't even worth it. And so that's something that you may have to watch a little bit as well. But for all that, it can make for an inspiring time of really searching yourself and looking at what true power is, looking at the power of your words, right? It's said that the pen is mightier than the sword. So how are you going to use that power and that responsibility? If you go within and you use this opportunity to really explore your own voice, you will find a voice that is formidable. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I promise to get back uh, to matters of love. I do think a couple of things stand out to me. One is, of course, that big eclipse you had last month. That was a really big deal. Uh, and so now here you are, uh, the first meetings or the interactions with people or the deepening of understanding with partners would have taken place last month. Now it goes even deeper. It goes to a deeper level of understanding intimacy that much more. Now with this new moon in the middle of the month, the thing is, is that superficial connections just don't cut it. I mean, we want to feel something deeply and we want to be with somebody who we feel on a very soul level and so as such if we just feel like you know a surface level connection it's not going to be very interesting to us so if you are open to meeting someone new pay attention to what's happening right around that uh, that new moon in the middle of the month very possible you can meet somebody and you feel the connection very very deeply within you in some way it could be a transformative experience at that because of the way that Jupiter is speaking with this new moon, it does also suggest that this could be somebody that you have already connected with in your past, maybe a way back long time ago. Um, and in some way that interaction reawakens your desire to have a strong bond with another person. For those of you who are in an established bond, this can be a very powerful time of getting to know yourself and your partner that much more deeply. And a part of that means getting to know uh, those things that maybe your partner doesn't necessarily always want to share. Getting to know um, things within you that you don't necessarily always want to share. They may come up now. You may find yourself wanting to be more vulnerable, wanting to share more deeply with your partner. 
And the great thing is, is because of how positively this new moon is behaving in the sky, if you will, conversing with other power players in the sky, it's almost as if it is in the act of vulnerability that you're able to feel that much more personally healed, but also feel that much more empowered to move your relationship forward. And that is part of what I love about this month for you. Intimacy is brave. It is an act of courage to be vulnerable to another person, but you will find your way there. And if there's anything a Leo knows, it is how to be brave. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expansive, exclusive video scopes every week, as well as early access to the monthly horoscopes and so much more. All this in the superstar space at astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com. Well, thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.